Guten Tag, Observer, und willkommen in Zoom ein Welt. In this episode, we are going to talk to Bertram. Bertram. Um, oh, I just went through the whole thing there. Okay, time to talk to Bertram. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, huh? Uh, you knew I was looking for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. You do. News travels down the kindred grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. I wonder if those, like, wounds on his head, if that bother him since, um, like... He's dead. <laughs> oh, like those boils did, and stuff. Did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? Uh, uh, I need that <clears throat> warehouse. Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. Wait. Wait. Sabat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Really? Just humans? As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. <laughs> Ugh, losers. That's, That's an intro. Uh, why, why do they, they call them shovelheads, though? Uh, well, they're, they're working, working, for for working for vampires? They know they're working for vampires? That's a stupid question, given what he already just said. Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. Okay. Are there are other things that are, um, that would be decent to know? Like, is there an extraction plan? Um, probably not. I probably have to... I don't know. I don't know how the game wants to handle it, but the logical thing is one, get an extraction plan going, or two, um, tell me, hey, well, he said I was on my own. Okay, so I guess that verifies it. Oh. Well, hello there, sir. Oh, no, no. I don't really want to drain him, but I don't really want to risk, like, not knowing if, uh, if he'll be dazed or not. Because sometimes when you're in combat, they, they don't become dazed. Okay, that's where I came from. I need to get better at observing, like, where I came from. Okay. Nothing going on here. Hmm. Just stay there, buddy. Okay. I don't know why it's failing sometimes. Okay. Got an enemy? I think he's just a hobo. Let me stand up and check. Okay. No reason to kill him. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious. Like, I can't do the smart thing and just jump the link there. I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Is that open? No. Probably avoid those two. I don't know, should I let them live? Very curious. Because if I, if I have to come back the way I came, and there's explosives, I might not 
have the opportunity to, uh, to, uh, pass them up. Um, I don't know. I do have some extra stamina, which helps against bullets and such. So, I don't know. There's a guy over there. Let's see if I can drink him. You don't see anything, bro. No one. Hey, where you going? Ugh. I wish I could be a little bit more stealthy. I mean, he kind of figured out I was there. Die iron. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey, you see something out there? Where? Out there, in the trains. I swear I saw something moving. Ain't nothing out here. You just scared, little John. What? Shit, I ain't scared of nothing. Scared for whoever decides to come and get a piece of this. Hey, quit waiting for that thing around. Fucking explosives all over the place in here. Are you trying to blow us up or something? Now who's fucking scared? Damn, little John. You all kinds of stupid. Hmm. That looks a little too fortified unless I can find something to, to throw and distract them and eat them later. What are you doing, bro? Looked like he was typing on a computer. I'm feeling he's gonna notice me. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while before I'm able to feed him. I don't know what the prerequisites are. Like if it's just like a um something that just happens. Why were you playing with the train? He was just sitting there playing away with the train. I don't know what the train ever did to him, but... Um, yeah, why were you playing with the train? Okay, so so far we've been met with virtually no issue. Oh. What, what's, what's this nonsense? You, you kidding me? I... I can't, I can't just, just fall, fall down, down right there. there. I need to... Hmm. How do I want to do this? Okay, there's a guy looking in that direction. Three guys there. Obviously, I would want to fall that way. There's a guy looking that direction, too. So, that's a pretty good position there. If I jump down there, they're going to uh, both be alarmed. Okay, so that's out of the picture. Oh, what's that over there? Is that a wall? Yeah, that's a wall on that catwalk. So that catwalk's virtually useless. Okay. Now that's blocking my way. Man, I'd, I'd be kind of unsettling uh, walking across these beams here. I do like that I just, like, kind of <laughs> fed my way through the parking lot. Man. How's that for stealth? Well, one guy noticed me at least. Two. Two noticed me. Unfortunately, so that might mean that I need to get my sneak up. What am I going to do here? I can't just... I could probably jump into that darkness over there. And fall down and take out that guy and just peacefully walk over there. 
but this looks too light for me to cross, go across, so I think I might have to eat this guy and hope that the other guy can't see it. I need something to throw. I'd really like something to throw. Ooh. Okay, startled that guy. That's not good. Calm your tits, man. Oh, shoot. This is bad. I could have probably just jumped. Okay. Blood heal. How did that guy die? I didn't kill him. Oops. Okay, that's problematic. Failed. <laughs> stealth, fa stealth fail. I, I didn't really see how I could do that. I mean, the lights were kind of in... Oh, no, there's a light right there. Uh, but it doesn't look as illuminated right there. Um, I couldn't just shoot out the light bulbs, you know. That would be ridiculous. Um, that's locked. Might as well kill the guys on the other side. Oh, man. Huh? How about let's not go that way? Oh, gosh. Where'd that guy come from? Oh, you're not dead. So as far as stealth is concerned, I have completely failed. There's nothing stealthy about what I just did there. But I, I don't understand. There's just way so much light. Is there anything in this room worth interest? Let's holster my weapons. It says I'm kind of... Is there somebody here in this room that can see me? I know there's people on the lookout for me. Oh, snap! Who has a shotgun? Got a blood buff here. Okay, that was kind of bad, but thank goodness I blood buffed, so that didn't hurt me as much. Oh, maybe... No? Gonna take a peek, see what these guys... Okay, so they're all... looking this direction. Is there a side door down here? Man... I feel bad because that was no stealth at all. I mean, coming in, I felt kind of like a like a badass because it was like, oh well, <laughs> I could just sneak past these guys. I oh that was me picking up bullets. But now, I need to feed. I need to feed on one of those guys.
feel like there's if there's any light, they will see me. And one of them's got a shotgun. I wish I had a grenade. If I if I had a grenade, they'd be dead. <laughs> and that's a knife. I think I sold my last one, so that's another one I could sell. Okay, let's uh. Oh shoot. I heard someone. Where'd you come from, mate? Downstairs? Well, that means that they're probably stacked up on the other side of this wall here. They're doing pretty good at stacking up, at least. Okay, so obviously I, I should probably go this way. What's this? Oh! Well, that would have killed them, but... I don't know what benefit that would have had me in the end. What the hell? I've seen this door open up, too. Why are you scared, man? Where is this lead? Oh gosh. I'm not interested in discovering a new place. I guess I am still discovering a new place, but I figure yeah, this is about where I thought I'd be. They're on high alert, though. But if I can get to the trains, I know where I'm at. That's the only concern. I failed? That sucks. I don't have much time. I'm going to have to start running here shortly. Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Come on. Okay, so this is a problem if you alert everybody of your presence. Oh gosh, I'm I failed. I know I failed. What is going on here? Okay. Come on, man. 15 seconds on the clock. I should be far enough away by now, hopefully. Where is everybody else? Oh, that was close. That was so close. I almost died. <laughs> Man, I need to work on my stuff a little bit. I just like let everybody in the world know I was there. The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume. Okay. I I don't know why I didn't like uh <laughs> perceive him as a threat. I mean wow, just giant whoop. I think I was just overcome with Oh, the timer's gone. <laughs> um Yeah, it was me. Hopefully no Sabat saw you escape. They can be somewhat antagonistic. Who are you and why have you been following me? Uh, no. So who said you playing for? My reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you, per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Um, some kindred 
thin bloods. They're a I mean, fascination bloods. of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, thin blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Okay, so... I saw a ghost at a hotel. I don't know if that's anything. Hmm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Hmm. Okay, well, I know the split personality isn't Most irregular. Most contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Okay. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Okay. Well, I kind of let myself know. I fought some Sabbat. Oh, man, I'm dumb. <laughs> Uh, that's all it is to it. That was a failure at, um, complete failure on, in regards to stealth. Uh, oh. My leg kind of seized up on me there. Nice work, Fledgling. <sighs> I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they know who it was too, probably. Know someone named Beckett. Beckett. Why know of him? Why? I heard he was no in town. Kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Okay. That I could have chose the other option of um, I seen him, but I'd like to keep a little bit of some secrets to myself. Well, that I talk to him or whatever the option was. Um, I'm out of here, bro. You better get back downtown. Prince Lacroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory. Okay, but how am I gonna get back downtown? Um, I don't know how to get downtown to begin with. We are living in the last. The last stage of mankind. Um, that was pretty short, I think. Um, so I'm going to continue playing a little bit. I'm going to see if Jeanette finally has something to say to me. I really want to talk to her again. Like, I, I hope, like, this isn't the last we see of her. Because I'd like to see how she's doing being alone, you know. Not the whole... I want to be with her alone thing, but <laughs> the whole, I want to see how she's recovering. <laughs> Come on. Her eyeliner was pretty nice for, uh, yeah, her, her, that's not eyeliner, that's eyeshadow. Sorry ladies, I'm not up to speed with the uh, medical term, I mean, not medical, um, Makeup terms. Um, cosmetic terms would be more appropriate. Oh, I remember. I already sent her to uh, the blood bank. I feel so bad about that. Oh, of course, darling. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know if I've said it already before, but man, that would make me so nervous if like I'm sitting there um, feeding on her and like all of a sudden my F key gets stuck and I can't stop feeding on her and like I accidentally kill her in front of everybody. Um, oh, a taxi. I'm sure this will probably take me downtown, but I'd like to go to my apartment right quick. I want to check my emails and stuff. See how that's going. Where is my ghoul? 
I want to meet my ghoul. I mean, Ventrum has his own ghoul. Maybe I could talk to uh, Makiro. No, that's over. I feel like that was a major part in a quest. Um, let's see. Nothing. Let's go to my apartment, check my email right quick. Sunrise. Oh, six nicely done. Uh, your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf blood. Please find your payment in the mailbox. Okay. The White King moves to protect his pawn. Okay, that's very vague. Okay, so a pawn moved forward. Obviously, it was a pawn close to the, the king. In order for the king to move, it had to have either been the pawn in front of the queen, the pawn in front of the king, or the pawn um, in front of the bishop next to the king. So, we have three options. If he's if there's a like an entity wanting to play chess with me, that would be quite interesting um to see how it goes. Um but I I highly doubt that that's the case. Oh, I forgot to check my mailbox. He said for me to check my mailbox. I think I've already acquired what I needed to acquire out of it though. No, I think the last time I acquired something um was from the doctor. Yeah, I must have already acquired it. Okay. Okay, so let's touch base with uh, Makiro, see what he has to say. Hide this weapon, there's no reason for this weapon to be out. Tell him the job was done, see what he has to say. I'm surprised opening an email gave me experience. Um, oh, Makiro is gone. Let me see how much. Ooh, 14 G's. Okay. Um, let's do a couple things first. Um, I want to do some. How much do we have? Eight. So we don't have enough for two. But we had some issues with our stealthiness. So um, let's. Put a point into dexterity. We could bring our melee up, but I think I'd rather wait for wits. Here's a question: How much would it it cost me six to put a point into hacking? Nine altogether to do the same thing that it's going to cost me to put eight into wits. So. This is still cheaper to do. See, I'm worried. Um, I can't remember if I went over this or not, but um, these are kind to kind of going. I'm I'm starting to see a pattern where these are going up by factors of four, and these are going up by factors of three. Um, so, like for instance, with this twelve over here, um, it's twelve. I could put two things at three. Like I could put this one and this one up. At the same time, it'd take me to do that. Um, or I could put two things up to two. Um, so it is interesting, I think. I could put some in that. But I think I'm going to put my other one in wits whenever possible. And guns really did hurt us in that last one. So maybe some more stamina. But I would like wits to get me a little bit better at hacking. My lock picking's at four, my hacking's at four. I can raise those up to Let's see, I can raise hacking up to five just with this. Two points into wit. So I can raise my hacking up a lot. If I need be. If I put another point in here, I can raise this, raise my hacking up to six at will. If I put one into here, that would bring it up to five. So that would bring it up to seven if I put another one here. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going into Wit next. Okay. Okay, so anyway. So Makiro, there's nothing interesting about him. Let's go to downtown. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, how does that song really go? Is it like, making my way downtown, going fast. Something on something. I miss you. Something else. Now I wonder. Okay. Anyway, I love like older pop songs. They're just incredible. Um, not so much newer stuff. I do like some new new pop songs, but a lot of them are just so repetitive. Um, drive. I'll tell you when the mood hits me. Let's go to downtown. Gosh, now I got that song in my that stuck in my head. That's horrible. Just like with Santa Monica, Santa Monica, I got like Savage Garden stuck in my head. Oh, a Louisville lugger. That's strange. Straight to the head. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Way to make it downtown. I probably should have been. I should have been a little bit more sneaky. I want its teeth. Camarilla, fuck. Darn. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting <laughs> in the first few rows will get wet. <laughs> I like, like that he just broke the fourth son wall of there. A bitch. Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could shoot somebody in the head just to get their attention. Shoot us. That usually kills people. This ain't over. Was that a grenade? You too, Rodriguez. I don't think the a grenade would have done much here. Nobody messes with a sabat and lives. Keep moving. Why, why would you have a grenade? Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Oh, man. Execution needs a little work. So he's kind of a badass. You look like that. shit. Name's Nines. Thanks for the help. Um, but I do have to talk to you for a minute about your tactics there. Okay, so let's let's think for a second. You you threaten them with a grenade. If you toss that grenade, I probably would have been dead too if that would have been the result anyway because grenades don't really explode so much as shoot shrapnel across the area. Uh, you do realize this. So you just would have had vampires with holes in them. Um, be careful. Um, I don't think the grenade's gonna do what you hope it will do. But anyway, thanks for that. Should have been more careful, Luby. This ain't the burbs. You could have killed me, man, with that grenade. You could have killed me. If it would have killed me. And plus, there wasn't really much pressure here anyway. So, anyway. Now, somebody could tell me, is there incinerary grenades? Um, that you know about? Um, anyway. I remember that. You do that. Me? I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll do this that. is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. I think more to my personality type for this character. I probably should have said I'll think about that. But it's kind of hard to make a personality during this game because some of the dialogue options aren't really consistent with what you want them to be. But anyway, so far I'm pretty pleased with my character. I mean, we can uh, we can dish out some whoop ass at least to bosses that I've seen. Most people die in like three hits. Where are we going? Uh, let me check my journal. Oh, here's here's a map. Give me a second. Let me see where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Ah. <sighs> You told Arthur that Mr. Durbin, 
left Santa Monica. Monica. Okay. Nothing, Nothing for downtown, downtown except, except I survived the Sabbath uh, Sabbath assault. Sabbath. Okay, Carnival of Death. Saw a murder scene at the pier. It's very brutal. Um, haven't gotten that yet. Warehouse mostly lies at the bottom of the Pacific. Uh, report to Prince LaCroix. Um, he said apartment two. The Tremere agent has invited you to his downtown house. I don't know if I care about Tremere's. Um, and the poem was horrible. It, it was just horrible. Anyway, um, let's go talk to LaCroix. See what he has to say. Might go to the last round, but first I need to know where all this stuff is. Okay, so number one, Empire at Arms. Two, Skyline Apartments. Five, Confession. Three, Nocturnum, Nocturnum Theater. That's where that debate probably took place. Um, the execution that started the game. Uh, parking entrance is four. Okay, so let me repeat those. Get them ingrained in my mind. Okay, one, two. Confession. Okay. Ten is library in front of the Venture Tower. I'm right beside the Venture Tower. There's a hospital followed by Hallbrook. I don't know what a Hallbrook is. And then the last round is on the way far portion of town. Okay. I got this. So, okay. Um, I'm assuming that this is LaCroix Tower. Is it saying on it? I don't know. You. Okay, LaCroix. Oh, man. Hey, there, Chief. It's that guy. Small world, huh? <laughs> yep, after that gallery, I, I didn't think I'd be able to get a job guarding a room full of jack squat from the boogity man. <laughs> but then I get a call offering me this sweet night shift slot, and I'm back in a security game. Ah, mm. well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You, uh, here to see one of the big leagues, Chief? Yeah, I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne oh LaCroix my gosh. of the Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Who do you think you work for, genius? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Thanks. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. I wasn't wondering. Okay. Right. Goodbye. Those are some horrible metal detectors, if those are metal detectors. I mean, I have so much metal on me right now. Okay, so there's uh, that big guy who executed people. Does he have a sword on his back? Nope. Let's talk to LaCroix. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Yes, that is correct. So excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. He doesn't, doesn't like to let me talk. I encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Yeah. Um. Hmm. No, 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 no. I mean. That is the answer I like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not I mean, those things were kind of true. Those things, but. Trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Uh, I would ask what's in it for me. Don't be so hasty to inflate your own worth. You've succeeded once. Very admirable. But in the grand scheme of it all, an infant's stride of progress. If you're looking to make a name for yourself, 
Listen very carefully. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kidrid community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Yes. Go the on. police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, okay. I'm not one this guy loves to talk. A decision based on conjecture. So what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. What do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, Take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen <laughs> without consequences. I'm sorry. Is this understood? Yes. Yes, it's right. understood. Oh. And it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Asked me to visit him at the last round. Then, you should go humor the by the numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. Okay. Fine. Give the Anarch community my regards. Okay. Whatever. Okay, so. <laughs> so we have to sink, sneak aboard the Dane without killing anyone. Um, we haven't had much success with that sort of tactic so far. So far, I've pretty much killed most people I've come across. And even in my stealthy adventures, I kill people while I'm being stealthy. To make, uh... Because that makes it easier to backtrack. Um, so this is probably going to be the most difficult thing. What's up with these guys? What was that? I hear guns. What are you running for, man? Huh. What's this about? I think I might eat. I could probably eat this guy. I don't need to. Oh, I can't. Player, what's the score? How they hang? Good evening and all that commotion. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac, the only store for all your needs after 10 o'clock. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. <laughs> the ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T, because I know I got a weight problem, I just don't give a fuck. Awesome, night. Thanks for the confidence. Well, it's nice to see confidence, rather. What do you got in the truck? That is a legitimate question, but a better question to be, what don't I got in this truck? Because <laughs> at Fat Larry's, my motto is, everything's got a price, but I probably know somebody who can get it anyway. <laughs> okay. Nah, what got. Nah, nah, that's what I like to hear. But it's like this. I say my best stuff for select clientele. Now, that don't mean I don't appreciate your business. It's just, you know, business. Show me the words, nice. 
Okay, so an Ingram Mac 10. That looks kind of like an Uzi. Uh, what's this? Uh, heavy clothes. I got money. Um, access armor, heavy clothes, is an armor rating of 1. Okay, I'll buy this. Heavy trousers. Oh, wow. That's some bolts. I might try bolts. Let's try... 40, sounds good. An axe. This guy's got some stuff. I think I like him. I'm choosing a crossbow. Like, I got crossbow bolts ammunition because I think that kind of would be more stealthy than going up with a sword. I can sell this stuff. I don't need that. Or that. Or an arm. Uh, what kind of what? My weapons. Back to my weapons. Where are they? Okay. So I can't sell you the arm. That's unfortunate. Um. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Twenty-two. It requires five. Twenty-four. Lethality is a little bit better, but do I want to pay that cost for something that only does two more damage? I don't think so. I could spend that on blood packs if I wanted to. Okay, so let's find us um, last round. Let me check how much time we got left. Okay, we got some time. I think it's this way. I think I'll follow it to the end here. Double check with this map. Going the wrong way. But, I'm in front of the Scott. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> um, there are certain um, disciplines that you're not supposed to use, and I accidentally used kind of one of them. Okay, so, okay, there's Skyline. Um, we have some business in this hotel. So I'm going to check it out. Okay, so they have a security guard. Milton is on the second floor. Yeah, he probably wouldn't appreciate me going into employees only, so. Let's go up to the second floor. Hopefully I can lockpick this. Okay, so blood buff this. I need to drink somebody. Okay. Why is there a chalk outline here? I don't need a dart. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Okay. Nothing in the fridge. Car stereos. That's nice. Guitar amp. I guess I could sneak in other places if I wanted to. To this vent here. Um, but I don't really have a purpose to, so it's okay. 
good to know that uh, we have some place we could be. Um, I mean, we we already have this taken care of, so. Um, So we have an entry point into two, so if we need to go into any of them, I assume we can go through vents. You're creeping me out, bro. Okay, this bonus equals your dexterity. Okay, so tab to give yourself a bonus to your defense. Okay, so we accidentally went the complete wrong way. I, I didn't catch where we were supposed to go. We went to across the street from a bar. I don't know. The only bar I know is the asylum. Um, and I know. I don't think there's anything across from the asylum. Maybe there's a bar in this area. Well, as we're checking out the, the last round. Oh, that's a bar. Duh. I feel like I'm going to the middle of nowhere. Okay, last round. It's pretty nice music. Can't talk to the woman here. Oh, it's Jack! Well, well, looky who made it back in one piece. I would say the monics, you know. Eh, it was okay. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of ski ball tickets down on the pier there? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? About so, you could say that. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics were when you were alive. Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? Saying that just me? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, you ever heard of the great Elizabeth Day? Yes, actually, the princess sent me there. The sarcophagus. Did Lacroix tell you about the Ancarn sarcophagus? I accidentally pressed the wrong button. No, but I don't trust him to tell me the truth anyway. Maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. What? Word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers of the vampires that he can trace your lineage way back. There's a chance it'll end up with him at the root. They sleep in the whole time. Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. So you wake up and go hunt. It's more than that. Most kids just think it's one of the signs of the end, the apocalypse. Every religion has their own version. Kindred call it Gehenna, and the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Hmm. 
Well, I can't say you don't really believe this stuff, do you? Because I just got turned into a vampire. It's, it's hard to tell what's to believe or not. sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. How could you, could, how could you deny an ancient? I mean, <laughs> uh, maybe not the story surrounding them, but I'm pretty sure that an ancient could exist. Um, well, they could all be here, so. I guess you're going to be the one to find out. Hey, good luck. Try not to win a pop monster and kill the world, huh? Um, I guess I could ask him why he's sitting here. I thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Makes sense. How did Nines make a difference? man. Calculated risk. Vents were born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is a <the> boss. <laughs> That's rich. Mm, okay, I see. The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. What the hell that Anarchs. Those got a nice kick though, huh? I don't know what Anarchs means. Come on, man. That's who the prince is in charge of things. Tell me about the Anarchs. How long has the movement existed? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. What's any of that shit mean anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? It's good to know your history. See more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation is within the DC, but something is going to decide what we're fighting for. Hmm. Does Nines feel the same way? You bet, kid. How come you're not running the show? See, I never had much patience for negotiations. Everyone can live or burn, it's up to them. What well, clan is Nines? That's a good. Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Ah. Uh, Moving right along. That makes a little sense. Oh, no, that's What's bad. Your mind? What do you think about humans? What do I think of humans? I don't, really. When you were alive, did you think about cows? <laughs> I guess that is a good point. No thanks, goodbye. That's that's enough. Host a child with Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you done today? Don't like your tone, sir. <laughs> oh, I don't really feel like commanding him. Funny. That's no, expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your weapon. I'm scared. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. Yeah. Yep, yeah, see ya. I have no interest in talking to that guy. He's gonna act that way. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Gosh, that's so dogmatic. Like, so... <laughs> 
I wouldn't say dogmatic, but oh my god. Got a right to know the squad. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Okay. This is the Prince, Prince Lacroix. Shit. Lacroix's just a guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Really? So what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite. To keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch-free state. I don't... I don't he's yeah, just anti-rich, it seems. A long time ago. We, the anarchs, did not play the politics. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left. Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Have you tried meeting with the camera? And <laughs> now the cliche is complete, that is true. Not a fan of the Prince. The represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in a garden. <laughs> that, that's a good point. I mean... Well, second one. You go on back to your tower. Say what you want about me, but not one of us in this bar is a no good, two faced, backstabbing, would be tyrant like that son of a bitch, the core. He and his camera are on borrowed time. You tell the nines Rodriguez said so. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, I didn't mean to come across as, like, being pro La um, LaCroix, but... But, I mean, like, I'm not really... Shut I told you to get back to your tower. Run along. I think LaCroix's shoes need polishing. So that I mean, well, hold on. Let me talk about what just happened there. I mean, obviously I said something wrong, but... Um, I mean, I'm not truly against, like, if he approached me in a different manner, I probably would have been okay with it. Like, if he explained better what's so bad about the Camarilla. Um, but it sounds like he's just anti-rich, I don't know. Um, what are you talking about? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix will stop counting his money long enough to get your back, Jack? What's the problem? What's the fucking problem? Oh, oh, oh. You want to know what my problem is? Alright, I'll tell you what my problem is. You ready? You are my goddamn problem. Anyone who lay down for some cape in an ivory tower deserves what they get. Listen, I make my own fate. Oh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws, like it or not. Uh, I kind of already knew that, so I'm I might need to. grandmother of these mothers, and one is bitch since the floor you were I don't know about LaCroix, but I am kind of cool with nine, so. Apologize often, but it's just with all the shit that's been going down lately. And on top of it, this plague bear getting the CDC's attention. Maybe I misjudged you, is all I'm saying. Plague bear. Well, 
Let me know what this flavor is. It doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kids that feed on them start spreading disease. And after it's sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Um. So, so how to get, get rid of one? Seeing old yeller may sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague here has got to be found and put down. And if the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Uh, I guess the Anarchs helped, helped me before. Where do I start? One of our boys' ghouls, Miss Paul, lives nearby in the Sky Apartments. But a stranger right there. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Okay, I'll yeah, check it out. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately, and it takes a city a few days to put up the bodies. Okay, um, I'll ask, ask around. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm kind of mad because I told you to get back to your tower. Run along. I think LaCroix's shoes need polishing. I obviously I made him mad, but I mean, he's a little too extreme for me, you know? Uh, but anyway, um,. I think that's probably a good point to end this episode on. Um, I'm kind of upset that I'm, I met, I made Nines mad. I didn't really mean to, but I mean, it is what it is. Stuff happens. <laughs> um, I'm just saying, hey, there, there is some reason to power every once in a while. Um, or at least the rich, not really much power, but anyway. Um, that concludes this episode. In the next episode, I'm thinking I might as well go on to the Dane and get that finished up, and then I might do a uh, side quest missions after that. Anyway, that's all for now. See you next time. I'll feed the same.